citizens of the reject nation we're gonna talk about something that came my way and i was like really <laughs> really really well leave a like john how are you i'm excited to find out what we're talking about how are you good good i asked john hey did you hear what antonio banderas said about zorro nope well I found the clip, and I'm going to have John react to it oh, <laughs> today. So Looked it up, I was like, he can't be serious. And he is. <laughs> and I want to get my thoughts on it. Well, don't read it, John. Don't uh, read it. I'm not saying anything. Don't read it. I'm don't read it. I'm not saying nothing. And it's from comicbook.com. Antonio Manderas was interviewed asking about returning to Zorro. The Mask of Zorro, one of my favorite movies. I, I wanted to ask you about this. In the film, the mantle of Zorro is passed down from Anthony Hopkins to you, and recently there's been this surge of legacy sequels. So would you entertain the idea of completing a Zorro trilogy, coming full circle, returning to Zorro, and passing the mask down to someone else? Yes, I would. I, I would. Guess who? I, I would Whoa. consider that possibility. Uh. Why not? If they call me to do Zorro, I would do what Anthony Hopkins did in the first i do love that movie yeah. and so just give the torch to somebody else the is there a specific is. actor working today that you think would do a great job solo maraduena <laughs> tom holland what <laughs> what <laughs> what why <laughs> spark too you know yeah. that uh, why not <laughs> What? I know, I couldn't, I couldn't believe Zorro? that was the answer he gave. <laughs> it's like, Dude. I, I kind of want to see it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to see uh, what uh, Tom Holland would do at Zorro. <laughs> it's just, it's just be so distracting. Like, I think Tom Holland's a great actor. Ever since he came out on the scene with The Impossible, he's been, like, knocking it out of the park. Like, I love him in movies like, you know, The Devil All the Time, and I've heard he's great yeah. in Cherry. I haven't seen Cherry, but I hear he's great in it. Even in Uncharted, as charming as he was, I, I could only see Tom Holland. I could not see just Nathan Drake. So the idea of him playing Zorro On is, guard! I know, right? You just know how he would be. Yeah, like, the most... The pointy thing goes in the other guy? Yeah. <laughs> Why put my sword back in the sheath? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would be the so most funny. affable, friendly, like, fish-out-of-water Zorro. It. But I would want him to try to be a Spaniard. I would want him to try to be Mexican. I would want him to try to do it, put on yeah. a little mustache and everything. Mm -hmm. I'd want little him to go mustache. all out. You just name-dropped... Zolo uh, from Mar Kro yeah. Kro Kai, Blue Beetle guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's the like, up and coming Latino actor. <laughs> I was like, that's a perfect pick. <laughs> he would that's be great. a perfect <laughs> pick. I didn't even think about that. He's I already like, suave. Tana Huerta. Uh, oh, you know, there's like a cool. bunch of other Latino actors that could play Zorro. <laughs> John Leguizamo. <laughs> that ship hasn't already sailed. I guess the thing that like surprised me was it's Antonio Banderas throwing it into the ring. And, you know, in a day and age where when people put stuff out there that makes studios go, well, maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe. I know he's trying to get this green lit from this interview. And I'm saying, please, God, no, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know All you right. inherited the mantle in the movies from Anthony Hopkins. Who was a whitey. Who was a white guy. <laughs> so it, canonically in this version, it could work. But Catherine Zeta-Jones, who is relatively unknown. As I remember seeing the trailers, yes. I didn't know who she was. That movie probably introduced me to her. And I thought that she was an actual like Latina actress. Mm -hmm. Come to find out. She's a white Michael lady. Douglas' wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which yeah. makes her even whiter. Yeah. I am perplexed. I mean, I'll gladly welcome a new Zorro movie. I mean, Mask of Zorro is great. I even like Legend of Zorro. And Legend of Zorro, too. Like, like there's quality, but also I fear that bringing in a Tom Holland will turn Zorro into the kind of like uh, the Paul W.S. Anderson Three Musketeers I don't want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, I think, you know, there's obviously the other side of the crowd that hears something like this and we're like, well, they they keep casting ethnic people for my white roles. That's well, right. then let the Latin actors keep the Latin roles <laughs> for nah, movies, man. especially. Nah. There's very few big Let's Latino get back to characters. <laughs> if we're going to gender, if we're going to race bend every character and gender bend every character, characters and we got a whitewash and uh man wash this, <laughs> these roles i was thinking about this i'm looking at antonio banderas how old is antonio banderas he's gotta be the I, sh I, sh I should have looked this up beforehand i'm unprofessional let me it's see okay. here okay uh, 62 he's 62 look at him this is a recent interview he does not look 62 he years looks old beautiful in a day and age where you have actors who you know like like what the what the interviewers posing here of legacy characters returning you know and like a big surge of that was things of like Sylvester Stallone returning for Rambo and Rocky and Schwarzenegger never giving up the Terminator <laughs> or Bruce Willis and the never any Die Hard sequels. You every know? every Indiana 
Indiana final Jones girl. Five. <laughs> Indiana you know? Jones Five. Yeah. I'm looking at Antonio Banderas. I'm like, why would you need to pass down the mantle? You look great. The guy's in a mask. <laughs> you yes. Know, you just got a stunt <laughs> double. You can pull this off easily. No problem. Like you wouldn't need to pass down the mantle. Is what I'm saying. Like it's a good trilogy idea. But if you wanted to just come back for it, I'm like, you don't need to pass it down, man. You can, you can easily still play Zora. You can do one more movie and pass down the mantle in part four. Pass Zorro down to Chris forever. Pratt. Zorro forever. <laughs> and then get, yeah, get Chris Pratt. It'll yeah, be perfect. He's do, the guy. You do part three, which is the return of Zorro. Yes. And then you do part yes. four, Zorro forever. Yeah. And then... Uh, Zorro five, Zorro five lives, the five lives of Zorro, <laughs> yeah, or something like that. Zorro, the order of the five swords. And doesn't he have a kid? Doesn't Zorro have a kid? Yeah, doesn't he? I he he like... passed the mantle down to his kid. <laughs> Do <laughs> not think kid. this through, Antonio Banderas, when pitching this idea. <laughs> no, he and Tom Holland were on the set of Uncharted one day, just like having a conversation, having a chat, and then they probably talked about Zorro for five minutes, and then Antonio's like, "I know what I must do." I thought it was funny. I just thought it was like a really funny. Story. Story. It is. I, it's just. It's like. It's not even that he's the white guy. He's the whitest guy. Tom he's Holland. the whitest. He's like guy. the whitest guy. Nathan and, and Drake is like no whiter. <laughs> he's like there's no one whiter. And we know Tom Holland so much also from like the billion dollar movies he's in, but also the countless interviews. He's like a meme in and of itself. You know. Yeah. yeah it would I, just be the most distracting casting. Job. Like who would believe this? If they passed it down to specifically a Caucasian guy, like the character's Caucasian, that would just cause a whole new storm. Yeah, I think it would. And I feel like you know Tom Holland. We we were lucky with Spider-Man where it's like, oh, okay, most people don't know him, so he can at least be known as that or Tom Holland. But now, you know, it's like yeah. it's going to be so distracting. Like, Zorro is a mantle that I think needs to be a little bigger than the actor who takes him on. At least at first, you could grow with Zorro and have that be your big profile main role. But I also feel like if they're going to recast him, don't go with someone who's just going to distract us the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd be down for another Zorro movie. Yeah, don't get me wrong. do it. I want it. But if Zorro the mantle were to be passed down, who do you think deserves it? I really like your pick for Solo. I think that's a great pick. Uh, guys, leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and hey, let's shout out some pick. Johnny and Clyde. Roberto Engelman Humpertink. Tyler Durden. Zachary Bob Barker. Irfan Clum Chowder. Taki, like the, the snack at the store. Takis, yeah. Love, Simon. <laughs> Song Hai, Donald Danny Glover. The Adventures of Pluto Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Riley Reed. Adult entertainer. NBA. <laughs> Fun dip. Pa, soda pop. Alan. Logan. Lance Burton. Kiara Bloom. Eric Comic Cons 39. Asian name. Nick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too racy for you two. Had <laughs> to calm it down. John Longoria. Holy Gail Ferguson. Muhammad All Right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> James Wan. Jumping off a cliff and surviving Rodriguez. Alex Theater Day Passes, just for you. Thank you guys for being part of our Patreon page. Your support is not overlooked, Aww. you sons of bees. Hope to see you next month. You Happy bees. holidays this Thanksgiving. We're grateful for all of you.